Recording is on. I think I with that now it's okay. I will I would I will uh retrieve that recording from the Dropbox. So uh for today I we say that we are taking a break from maths and maybe look at uh, some one or two diagrams that we can do in physics and I it's my hope that we are all taking physics but they may be, they are useful actually uh, you can apply them either in physics or somewhere else where you you would wish them I uh, for today I'm going to propose that uh, I'd drawn uh, some diagrams before so I'm referring to my phone the way we can uh, have out of it last time we managed to draw a uh, moment uh, and we saw how we we have for the system balanced with the forces correctly pointing to where it is and also we managed to draw the the vanier caliper so today i would propose that we we look on how, how we can draw a, a micrometer screw gauge. I think now that is important. A micrometer screw gauge, and also maybe we can see where we can, if we can uh, have. I'm uh, looking at my folder. Uh, we can as well also draw. This is. Uh, the eclipse we can draw that eclipse and maybe i can show you how you can draw magnets and store them the when they are stored together with keepers magnets uh later on we will be able to draw uh water in a beaker a beaker of water and maybe there is this topic in form four floating and sinking so we can also try to see if we can uh, have a diagram out of that uh as i said earlier on uh this is a platform uh for you as an artist now you here i refer you as an artist an artist you are creative you look at something and see what you can do out of it what how can you better it so for my case i normally look at the diagrams on the question paper and, and visualize that and see if i draw them like this how uh, they are going to to come out so uh for the diagrams I've already drawn in my folder, I was uh, referring them from uh, some question papers. Like I look at the question paper, I I make a draw out of it. For instance, uh, last year KCC paper studies physics. Actually, all the diagrams that were there, I think I managed to draw ninety. I can say ninety percent of all the diagrams that were in those papers. I was looking at the diagram and the visualize and see how I can present it. So that's how we, that's how I do it now when I'm drawing diagrams in physics. So for today, I think we can start from a, a micrometer screw gauge, and of course we are not going to draw the whole, uh, the whole uh, nini micrometer itself. We are just drawing a scale. We are just going to draw a scale the way it is presented in question at, papers. At Leon, I was uh, requesting because uh, maybe I don't know if my colleague was there last time. I missed. Is it possible you just do uh, some like kind of a recap? A recap of what of what we did last time? Huh? Yes, yes. Uh, okay, I don't know. Uh, the other colleague joined with uh, anonymous so i guess is this peter anonymous i cannot 
really tell unless you type the name and you new way. But I hope it's Peter because Peter was asking for the same. I don't know even if, if we are together with him. Let me send him a message. As I wait for him to reply, let let me take you through on what we we had uh, uh, looked at last time. So let me share my screen and the uh, entire screen. Are you seeing my screen? I'm able to see it. Okay. Okay, let me open the program. I'm going to head it down here. Hello, hello. Hello, Laya. Oh, yes. I'm in. Yeah, who is this? I am Benson. Uh, are you doing it? Benson, eh? I'm joining right oh, now. I was uh, a bit busy. Okay. I, was, I had joined so earlier, we... but I was not around. Uh, I don't know if you were there last time when we did a physics presentation. Yes, uh, the uh, the Vanya calipers and the moment uh, uh, diagram, right? Yeah. Oh, of course, the moment. Yes, I was. I was in. So uh, Anthony has requested if you can do a recap. On what we did. Yes. Uh, I think it's in order that, that way. Okay. Uh, now, uh, Anthony, I, I believe you are conversant now with the with the system, with this program. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, we. I remember Nikuri said that uh, a line is the basis of everything. A line can act as a guiding tool. Also, it can act as the element you want in that in that figure. So drawing a line will first guide you. For instance, I can draw a line. I've selected a line, yes. I draw it. Now this becomes my basis of everything. So out of this line, I can decide to make a... Maybe I want to draw, draw a circle uh, whereby the center is along this line. So this line is going to guide me. So I'll just place the cursor there and uh, it's going to allow me to draw that circle like that. Just like that. So the line acts like a guiding uh, a guiding uh, tool. So for the, I don't know, let me start with the moment. Here we go, Raisi Kedogo and Yarak. Uh, in moments, we know we have a, either a uniform road or an uniform road or a meter rule. I think those are the most uh, tested uh, or, or functions we see in that uh, moment. So a uniform road, we use the rectangular uh, option, the rectangle, the rectangle option here. We come and... Uh, select the rectangle, then we place near the end of, uh, where the start of the canvas, we shift to the right like that, to our desired the length. See, this one, we are not limited, like uh, you must have, for, for instance, it must be exactly 100 centimeters. No, it cannot. You can just put like that, then label. You label that this is a meter rule, or this is a uniform rod of length two meters, five meters, etc. So once you have placed your horizontal uh, horizontal bar like that, next you will need the pivot where this uh, meter rule or rod is balanced. So for the pivot, we said we are going to use a, tri a triangle. Yeah, a triangle. So we navigate to the triangle option, which is here. 
uh, we have uh, types of triangles here. We'll choose uh, the first one, the triangle. And the, to our desired position, we are going to move the cursor along the road to where we are. We, we see now, okay, this will be our point of support. So if we say that this is our point of support, we click once and hold. You click and hold, then drag downwards. It's like you are drawing the hypotenuse of that. You are drawing the hypotenuse of that triangle. So it can be, depending on how you want it to look, to look, you can adjust it to be like this or somehow steep, something like that. But it's the, that's now upon you to decide on how it's going to look like. So far in my case, I will, I will love it to be like that. Remember, I'm still holding down the mouse. So when I say now that the hypotenuse is okay with me, I'm going to release the mouse. Now I've released the mouse. Then what happens next? I'm going just to move the cursor like that. I'm just moving the cursor. So to where I will see like I'm I'm having the the isosceles triangle. Mm, somewhere here. This looks like now an isosceles triangle like that. Yeah, I think uh, we are perfect. Uh, it's an isosceles triangle. You can still confirm with the arula. There's a ruler here. You can come there and place that over there and measure that measure that distance. And that distance seems to be 2.5. 2.5. You can also measure this one and let's see if it is 2.5. Yeah, I think it's 2.5. So which means we have formed a, an isosceles triangle. Or we can confirm using the angle markers we can mark this angle which is 53 and this one it's 53 so indeed that is an isosceles triangle so we live at that point so we see you have uh you have balanced what is missing here are forces uh forces uh that are going to be suspended on this system so it's upon you again to decide you see for my case i placed the point of support away from the the where the weight of the ruler is going to act from so that means if i want to specify where the weight of this uh the center of this meter rule actually I can take the ruler and the measure the actual now uh the actual uh measurement of it it's it looks like it's 23 point five eh? 23.5 so the mid will be we can just adjust it to 22 so that you can have an even number uh you can have an even number let me push it down like this copy paste so that i can delete the first one but it can give me freedom to to edit this one um we can just uh okay yeah we can drag you see as i move the cursor near the edge it's going to show me the height the width and the perimeter and the area so the width you see it's 23.5 so i can uh, click and hold then move to the left like that move to the left like that that is 22.2 22.2 that is 22.1 you can just leave it there so that we assume it is that will be 11 so the the center will be 11 come here draw the lower like this it is 22.2 so it is 11.1 .1. so at 11.1 11.1 why is 11.1 i'm going to put a point at 11.1 somewhere here yes 11.1 .1. that becomes now the center so i can delete the ruler and we see we have a mark here 
and then problem it's very small that will force me to um, this one is very small but okay let it be there i wanted to place it at the mid is here but we have just marked that is the center of that uh road so i'm going to return my point of support to my desired location now from here we are going to hang masses we can decide uh the weight that's acting on this uh body the first one we know it is the weight of the body itself we can have it as w you draw a line then you put a uh, mark uh, the arrow the end of the line to have maybe an arrow and the desired arrows are here so i normally use this one and I reduce the size. I remember talking of this last time. I drag to the left and reduce the size of that arrow, and it will look like that. Then we can name it to W to show that it is the weight of that uh, ruler, and it's acting from the center. So I come here to the text box, text uh, text box, and I change from auto text equation and text equation because i'm not dealing with formulas here i just need a text only so i place a cursor there and write w capital w i highlight it like that by uh, pressing ctrl a and clicking on bold so it is bold then i'm going if i want to increase the font i'll click on the a capital the a that uh, looks like uh, it is bigger than the other one or you can just change here from 14 maybe to 16 like that okay thing like that uh it has disappeared from my canvas here so i can like that okay. then increase the size that one is good so I would click on it and drag and place it somewhere there. Since it's okay, that's with W. Then I will decide from 0, 0, 0.0 here. Can set, uh, put a small mark like that at the end. Whereby I will say this is 0. Can say it's 0 centimeters, control B. it close to the mark we have just posted there then also i'm going to say that this is uh oh we used 22 but let's assume that this is 100 100 centimeter uh sorry 100 control a b 100 centimeters then i will drag it down to a point like that then we can decide uh uh someone left or oh. oh yeah we can decide um to have forces now acting either clockwise or anti-clockwise so for my left left hand side i'm going to have uh anti-clockwise forces and I'll put just one at my desired position. I'm going to click on the line on the line tool and uh, place the cursor along the uh, uniform road. That's the meter rule. And I draw downwards like this. And you see the goodness with this software. It will just uh, notify you that the line you are drawing is indeed parallel to another line that is adjusted to it and in this case it is our our line acting downwards as w so you can see it has put uh, two lines showing that they are indeed parallel so when i release it we are we have drawn a parallel line uh, two parallel lines there so i right click and I place the head as that arrow and drag the center and this will be my force uh you can say that this is 20 newtons n control a control e control a is for select control b is for bold then we move the 
the 20 newton close to that arrow like that now from there uh on how you on how the position will be you see the way it is like this uh i don't know if you can ask a question from here let's add let's add another force here somewhere here uh-huh to your k arrow that one we drag to the center we drag to the center like that now to pay force f they are known now they are known force get to say my f control a control b and we can increase it because it's a letter we can increase it the font we move it closer like that uh -huh. what is missing the dimensions the dimensions or the distance from the line of action and for that case by the way you can just show the line of action i don't know what it will look like but let's see how how it's going to appear the line of action we can just position our cursor after we have selected the line tool we are going to position our cursor at the center of this the you see now all the objects have been marked red which means it is indeed at the center at the tip of that uh, triangle so i'm going to click on the hole and then draw a parallel line upwards like this i will leave it like that and change the properties i will change it to dotted i select it and come up here and say i want this line to be dotted also if you want to change the color i can say let this line be color red why not let it be color red like that yeah so look at the ends look at the ends of that line now one is yellow another one is red that means what you cannot you cannot move that line because it has been anchored yani imekuwa fixed imekuwa fixed kwa hiyo point hato kujaribu ku move the arrows not going to move so if you want it to be more flexible like you can move around you just copy and paste the same same line of course it's going to paste it up or candle too so that you delete now the original and now return the one you have pasted to that position this allows you to play around with that line you can move it up you can move it downwards so let me copy control c and the control v for pasting you see now the end of that line have become green so green means they can be moved around that line can be dragged so let me delete the first one like that the second one now which i copied i can now move it with the cursor like that and say this is the center so i can draw it downwards like this or upwards like that the way i want it so let me have it at that position and say that is our line of action uh, that's our the 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 center or the pivot the pivot that's uh, our pivot point so i'm going to give dimensions all positions of these forces for the first one here for the 20 i will come and pick uh the line tool and place it now on the upper side on the upper side of the of the ruler and the position and see now they are in line i click and hold that's enough indicate now if you want to maintain the same same uh line and the same height you come and select it like that control c control v with a copy your line like this is you you push it up like that make a balance can hang up next na fanin una kachukua hivi na kwa patient tu kana songa tu hiyo ni hiyo ni the arrow keys i'm using eh, to move it around so nikakifika hapo ni same this is this is it i'm also one i want the the other one i'll control c control v i copy it i move it up ni only me balance then i move it across i move it across all the way up to force f force f like that 
So I've uh, marked the positions of those uh, forces. So what I will do, I will give the the max. So let's say this, let this be at 20 centimeter mark. Let that be at 20 centimeter mark. I place it close. I'm using just the arrows, the arrows, the arrows, the arrow key on the, on the, on the keyboard. I'm going to take, we know that this position here, it's 50. So between 20 and uh, 50, we can just indicate this is at that. Let this be at 30. Control A, Control B. We are trying to let the chini upper semi couple somewhere here we balance you we know up and 50 so no need to indicate uh already the 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 weight of the ruler w now what you are waiting act from the center so this would be the center now you label this one to be for example 80 let this be 80 uh, centimeters control a control b to bold i move it down to that point like that so i think from here uh oh this red looks awkward we can change the color uh where is this yes we can change the color we go to black if still we are not satisfied we can, if, with the for instance the broken line we can still change it back to the solid solid line like that yeah so what else is remaining here uh you can add any now you can be add what we call the cosmetics cosmetics nile to maridadi sasa unaweza add hapo chanikarudisha hivyo as I add umaridadi apple, like uh, I normally shade this triangle. I come to the bucket here, the color bucket called the flood fill. I click on it and I change the color here. If I want black, total black, I'll select black. If I want somehow gray, fading gray, like that, or you want blue, any color you want around, you can play with it. You come and click inside here. It will leave an X mark, but that X mark will not be will not be printed. It's just just a mark to show that that's where you clicked when you are filling that uh, uh, triangle. So I click once like that. Oh, those are lines. Why? Because I didn't select it as a solid fill. Where am I selecting as a solid here? down here you will see uh, when you when you click on this drop down you will find that there are patterns they are called patterns the first pattern this one means nothing zero no shading it is transparent the second one is a solid color a solid color i love you in guinea sasa niso forward diagonals backward diagonals horizontal vertical cross pattern diagonal cross pattern so I, I we are interested with a uh, solid fill. I click on the solid fill and I click inside like that. Uh, yeah, click inside that. We have shaded the triangle. We can also shade the ruler. We can shade the ruler. And I said kwa ruler miu natumianga rauwa natumia the, the fading yellow. I don't know if this is yellow. If I, I take that and I click inside this like this it's going to feel on the because to me divide the upper cut cut in a manisha haita vuka yo sailingina so what we do we just click again on the other part like that so that in a feel uh, yeah it feels like that so from there you are going to export your file i believe it's now okay or we can change in a car more shouting yeah? let's change this color to gray this fading gray, we click inside here like that. Okay, whichever ile yon naona ni mzuri. Aya, file, we want now to export, file, save as PNG, and we were told the reason as to why we are saving at, as PNG. PNG shows that there's no background, so we click on PNG. 
and choose where you want to save it. So I have this folder called light short. So I'm going to save it. I call it, for example, moment. I save like that. So when I go back to my my uh, document light short, uh, this one moment it is here. So I click to open it. That's how it's seen on. Uh, on a normal image viewer so we want to export this to or place it on word so i will open word document i will open word document and uh, select we can paste it direct like this i remember explaining this we can control v in akuja but this one freedom yeah we move around like in the back it will not give you that freedom. So uh, there is an option of using insert then text box. Insert then text box. When you click there, you say draw a text box. A text box. So you come and drag and draw how you want it to appear, appear like that. Then you control V. Control V means paste. You paste this inside this uh, text box, which means I can now move it the way I want. You see now it's moving to any position like that. So always the figures in a question paper, try always to place them in a text box. Or the, the other one uh, uh, that Nikuri had shown you, the canvas. The canvas one. That will give you freedom to move that uh, object like that. Up to that point, I think we are done with that. That was a recap it has taken us some a quick time. time. But it's good for our fellow brothers who are not there uh, last time. Is there a question up to that point? Okay, if there is no question, then we can go straight to uh we can go straight to what we were what what we said a recap of how we did the vanya, how we did the vanya. So I'm going to select all this and edit it. If there is no question, I hope uh, we we are getting something. Okay, now the uh vanya. The vanya calipers we normally uh, draw the scales only we show the scales we don't draw the whole instrument so the line comes the basic unit of everything so you take the line tool and have it across draw a line there leave it like that uh what do we need we need uh the main scale the main scale reading we can uh, for a question we can set it to start from maybe six or four or on or it can start from zero so for my case let me let it start from somewhere here we draw a line perpendicular to the one we have drawn to mark this as uh, a mark of for instance five let it be five control a control b to make it bold and we can place it once like that. We move it close to the line we have drawn like this. Uh, then we are going to have subdivisions. The subdivision, we just approximate and see uh, this, uh, this, the distance between the main to the subdivision is, is good for you. Uh, that one is okay, I think, that distance. To maintain that line, just select the Akoka line Kenyo Machora, then Control C, Control V. It's going to paste. Una adjust, una ana e iko sawa iyo, Control C, Control Paste. Una move, those are the third one. You repeat like that for the, that is the fourth, one, two, three, four. In but you can just adjust. Then for the 
For the fifth, naweza mwa ikweni a line is shorter than this. So you can have a line here it is shorter than that one, the, the main one. Then now you continue. You continue copying, control copying and pasting. And this one is okay here. You space it out like this. It may not be consistent like Kiangalia kuna mari unaona kuna gap kubwa kidogo. But if you so wish, you can use a ruler by the way. Unaza kujo chukue ruler hapo kwa underline kuna ruler. Then uh, unachoa yu ruler hapa yuji. Yu ruler itaku guide. Itaku guide vizuri ndio uzi place at least equidistance from each other. So let's say we use one, 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 one centimeter. Hmm. Mm, I did that one because it was already angered. Ndiyo ni karudisha hako juu, ni seme kakwe kwa poison hapa. Kwa tu mark. Ngini kwe hapa. Okay. So it means I do away with this one. Ngini kwe kwa 4. One, two, three. Then. Okay. Uyo kwa mikuwa angad Kuna mtuwa That one Then we We take him somewhere here Because that's where he will fall We move this So you do it like that uh, Kodits Narudia rudia hivyo I think this is 1, 2, 3, 4 Kuna mtuwa haka Muna kasukuma mbele to seven to eight, to eight. You see, you are using a ruler now to guide you. And so, let's see, try to go nine. Then, yeah, ten, and as a quarter, I say, mean, being a young and I. Pole pole. So, I can put you evil, and I can kill you, and I can be the upper mush. That. So, I'm going to go to the ruler. This will be my six. This will be my six. This mark. like that that's the main scale then we need to have a sleeve scale sleeve scale when is a peer repeat the same same and you know in a 10 divisions so now is a more because you can go can see somewhere here this will be your zero then we draw those small lines as a controller to you say my book of sour I want this to guide me. Let's see, now I'm press it. Make control copy. Copy in an pair exact distance. We copy. Use five copy manarula. We copy. Mm -hmm. But that such small adjustment. One, two, three, four. Uh, control copy. Five. Five 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 control copy copy mm -hmm. six seven eight nine Penny at the square, usually. So, 
so it's about you could just no no almost ni kama kuna zenye zilikuwa in line lakini ukiwa macho kabisa you will see that aziko in line kabisa so you can just make a few alteration ndio isionekane kwamba kuna mbili ama tatu kama unaweza sukuma tu kando hivyo here at least we are here kama tuseme hii kasonge kidogo hivi so tuache ya 5 it almost up in line with that then you go ahead and the label this is 0 that is zero then uh, 10 I'm going to leave that water five control A B. Then I go here five. A B. Okay, drop like that. I think that that's how we we can have a vanilla. Vanya Avania scale and the main scale on a question paper. From here, you can ask your question now. You can frame your question that you want the way you want it to be. Uh, there is some cases where I saw the now the Vanya scale here, Pacini, it co contained. It's contained. It's contained in a like a, what we said. You be somehow stylistic una add to umadoido flani hapo hivyo kidogo ah uh, like that yeah something like that i was saying now it's like it's being in a canvas inside a rectangle and uh, under this rectangle let's see if we can do something uh, like shading to one kama itatokea Yeah. So you name, you say you can you can name this. You can name this. Let me drop the left so it will be the end. You say this is Vanya. The Vanya scale. bold you can move it like that and add the font font size you adjust the font size now calculate up evil then you say this is the main scale you can point it like this uh, choose arrow video size say that this is the main scale until a bold add the font size like that but i know you are not supposed to name this you are not supposed to indicate this in an exam but this is just for general knowledge i think what you what is necessary for this one we can have what we call figure three maybe you say in figure three below no figure three like that you have you push it up to that point like that balance balance so now my name gonna be really so let's do away with this one or we can we can just leave them the way they are like that so if we now export what are we going to have at the end let me call it vanya save So if I go back to that folder and look for Vanya, Vanya is down here. If I open, this is what I'm going to have. This is what I'm going to have on the image viewer. So I can copy it and go to Word. I first test it. I can test it as a whole image. Even if I pop here. Let me quick at cut. Let me cut cut. Yes, something like that. Are we okay, guys? Up to that point. Yeah. 
Yes, we are uh, following keenly. We, I think we are gaining. We are okay. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's what we did last time. It's uh, for the good of uh, Anthony. I don't know. I don't know. Benson, if you are around. I don't know if you were around during our last class. Yeah, so I think uh, we we have learned something here on how we make a vanya and also moment. So allow me to make uh, what I wanted us to to look at today. I said uh, we were to look at uh, the eclipse and maybe magnets. But I can show you magnets because it's just uh, so simple. It's just a, a matter of playing around with the rectangle. So allow me to delete this one. A magnet. Click on the rectangle. Click and hold, drag ac across like that. Yes. Come here, say north. Increase the size. Someone wants to enter. Let me scare to unmute. Let me say Jama. Okay. That's a note. Uh, a south. Increase it. Like that. This is a south. Like that, you have formed a magnet. Uh, it, for my case, I normally uh, demarcate the north and the south. I know it's not uh, it's not in books, but but mimi I find for the north. Let me delete this. When I draw a line up, when you magnet, you know not in a kwanga red so i take that and shade it with a red uh, red i shade it with a red like that so this 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 letter n i can change to color white uh, no the color of n i can change to color white like that yes so uh, that's how maybe I, I, uh, I present a magnet so we can and we know we we have a we we know how to keep them so let me retain the same because there are three elements here the three elements are the the rectangle the north and the south so iso zote niku Control A to select Zote. Then I group. Ku group kumanisha nikifuki moja sasa. Zimekuwa one object. So like if I move now around, it's our our thing moving. Eh? So that if I control copy and paste, I'm going to have the same 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 thing here. The same same dimension. So what do I do here in this case? I'm going to balance like this. All, what I want to do is just to rotate this, but you can you can just again draw. You see, when I'm click, let me undo. I want to rotate it so that the node goes now on the other side. I click on this icon here, arrow in our nature clockwise. I click like that, then I move the mouse, it's going to rotate it. The way I want it like that to any position I want. So I want it to be perpendicular like that. Yeah, no, parallel to the other one. I I leave it like that. So I move it down. I move it down like that because I want to store them. What have you noted? Look at the letters. The letters is me quite inverted also. So in this case. I click on it like this and ungroup so that it can give me freedom to remove those letters and group like that. So we may root zone as a PK letter. Me try and maybe I type something else called South. 
I add the font size like that. I position it there and I come here and I remove the note and the type notes bold and make it white color white like that so let me move it down not there like me guess in the arco I can drop it kuje hapa uh, so we have two magnets that we want to store parallel uh, we want to store them in using keepers so we know how keepers are placed on the ends of the magnet i take the the line tool and the draw draw the the line let me undo this Ukiangalia hapa sasa hizi hizi magnet aziko in line so nakasukuma hivi paka hapo or we can use a guiding line naweza chora line hiyo ni sukume pole pole mpaka kwa one of it ndio niambie kwamba kama ziko in line sasa eh, unaona hapa kamebaki nje kidogo so i can push it like that so hiyo ni kushua sasa they are in line I remove it so I pick the line place it on this end draw it downwards up to where we have this end the other end of the magnet I leave it like that I draw another line here random this now is a guiding line this will be a guiding line whereby <coughs> uh, I want to draw keepers so I can drag a line here to this position to this line and uh, also draw a, another line that would be I think this one yes like that then now draw another line down to join these two so that i can delete this one the guiding line i think that's how keeper looks like then you shade it using the diagonals now in this case i'm going to use the forward Dianos and I use black. I use color black. I increase the thickness to two points. I shade it like that. We repeat the same on the other side. This I draw a, a guiding line like this. I come here at the end of this magnet. I draw down like this and have it like that. I draw a keeper like this. That's the guiding. I draw it here. You can really make one brief, Sana. Like it's extending outside, uh, outwards, and the the lines are thick because we didn't revert back to one point that we used on the other side. Just to be more uh to be more accurate, I can use a ruler to measure the distance between. This line and that will be 1.4. That is 1.4. So I can come with this ruler. I draw a line like this one. Then I take a ruler. I measure 1.4. I draw it like this. The only way I a guiding line sasa equal at the position 1.4. At the position 1.4. In this number of 1.4. Someone, yeah? Yeah. When I was a part of the angle, which way line yango hapa, and you say, me, will you acute hapa? confirm kama zina rhyme na hii so naweza chora line hapo ya kuni guide hiyo line cross like that to guide me ukiangalia aka kako nje sama kidogo so nakatoa so that i can draw again nikaikere hapo so i repeat the same with this one
ndio nikuje nichukue hiyo line iseme come here up to this point this one from there i draw now the joining line or i can just delete this nionione i'm going to join them like that i go to the painting bucket i choose the the back uh, the forward uh, forward i change two points i click there those are keepers how is it looking in on canada because it is fine thank you for that it's fine um by the way you can also turn that to me e fading gray but one even you can talk here kwa magnet in here no i want a solid solid feel if i click there also click here i think you just like sawa the just like that eh? i think you just sawa it is uh, very fine yeah so i think uh we have a magnet uh, and we have seen how we can draw the keepers maybe, maybe before you finish i maybe i didn't get how you came up with the the, the shading that is with your not 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 pole maybe you uh, can just Pardon, yeah, let me, let me demonstrate that I'm, I'm taking the rectangle tool I move like I want to draw a, a bar magnet okay I take the line I split I split a north pole like this I want say this line to be now on this side to be north pole so I've demarcated now I come on the part in Konarangi I pick I click on red like that. Then now you can go ahead and say this is a not pole. Not pole. It is size. Well, I can come and get a hapa. To catch a change around. Like a white, white. I think it's on the on the question like that. So you just click on the rectangle like that and come and change the points from two, maybe to one. Now you line to the candle, now it will be to one. Like that. I think now you're okay with that. Your, your color white to not change na na the, the the color next to ile ya bucket amagan because na jaribu ya unaona black too oh color ya white ya letter i i guess in that case you are asking me a letter sindo yes yes you know your end ah yeah so as you know na kwa let me right click on it sindo hiyo sasa tumei select ndio hii hapa sasa unakuja hapa kwa this uh, control panel ya side on the right kuna mahali unaona after the the font size kuna color hapo sasa hiyo ndio ya nimeiona oh, sasa nilikuwa natumia zile za juzi nakata oh, oh, zile ni za shading sasa yeah i think uh, that is okay with that one we export let me select that and delete we export this save us png and need the magnet but no command mind because but no problem magnets there you on the image view it end up on the on the question paper I'm going to 
inaonekana kama hiyo something like that i think when you present such a question now even to a student in a kwa more attractive na yeah we we need to attract them ndio wapende ile somo yeah so i think uh, we are okay with that one i may i request that kindly we stopped here for today <laughs> time is going and i uh, uh, tomorrow i'm waking up I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on duty so i think we'll find the time again maybe tomorrow if we can have time we finish with the the eclipse that i wanted us to do today if we can stop yes, here yeah i think uh, today because of time we can just end so that we proceed maybe tomorrow that's very okay uh, na benson na benson are you okay?